Hello guys, and welcome back to the Zane Investing. And in this article, I will discuss the one and only AMC stock that you should be watching for the future. AMC will be impacted by a number of Elon Musk statements regarding the overall stock market, which I will also analyze. Therefore, he has some really crucial warnings for everyone. Once I reveal what he said and how this could impact AMC, it will be enormous. But before I begin the video, and before I say anything on this topic, I must first state a couple of things. To begin with, I'm not a financial planner. Ensure that you accept none of this as financial advice. And if you want to see more films like this, please hit the like button, which not only helps me but the entire ape community as a whole. So Amp. She was up approximately 4% for the day on Friday, and not much has happened after then. It has been on a slight decrease since we observed the $6 pump, and it is now beginning to decline more. Now, it did rise slightly with the market. We had one of the most enjoyable days since June of 2022. I will now explain what is occurring and why. Next week, having the FOMP meeting could be quite critical. So, Elon Musk stated something quite significant. During the Q4 earnings announcement, this occurred. He also expressed some remarks following it. Acceptable this was quite recent. Elon Musk indicated that he's afraid about the Fed smashing the value of the entire stock market. And we are aware that when the market declines significantly, AMC has a propensity to follow suit, right? Since 2022, the entire market had declined. What its purpose is? She also descended. In 2021, many mid- and small-cap stocks fell as well. Simultaneously, this is what began the decline of AMC. So what is Musk actually saying? Well, on the way down, he stated that there is a distinct possibility that he believes the Fed is actually too hawkish. In a way, he feels the markets pose a risk of deflation. He believes that the Fed's aggressiveness may be a touch excessive and that it could possibly drag the economy into a recession. Acceptable in addition, he stated that the economic downturn of 2023 could be extremely similar to that of 2009. Therefore, Elon Musk makes it obvious that there will be many hazards involved. Thus, he was actually discussing Tesla as well, but he also mentioned the overall market, which will hit AMC once more. What he meant was, for the shorter term, the market is still unpredictable, and he indicated that he remains quite enthusiastic on Tesla's long-term prospects. He stated that it will become one of the largest corporations. However, he was correct when he stated that the short-term outlook for Tesla and the market as a whole is uncertain. He is referring to the possibility that the Fed's policies could influence the market crash scenario the event of a market crash. The market anticipates a final rate hike of 5% if the Fed continues to raise rates and continues to raise them repeatedly, and if they do so in a manner that is greater than what the market is forecasting right now. But if the Federal Reserve ends up being much more hawkish, this might cause the market to not just decline more severely, but also bring AMC down with it. Then, by doing so, you may carpet pull the economy into a recession. When the recession arrives, earnings and the gross domestic product will both contract. And when this occurs, investor attitude will change, and we will witness widespread panic. Therefore, Elon Musk stated that the Fed might potentially get close to topping 6% as the final rate. And he noted that this is part of a very strong effort to combat inflation. You also suggested that in turn, bond yields could begin to increase. And this might not only increase the risk of deflation if the Fed acts too aggressively, but also lead the entire market, including Tesla and AMC, to decline. You also indicated that the market is performing as it is due of the Fed and their policies, which they were practically compelled to implement as they did. And they did so due to the fact that inflation was very high. Moreover, a probable economic downturn was long overdue. Currently available information suggests that the market is not cooled as much as the Fed would likely prefer. 1 to 2. Excuse me. The reason for this is that the GDP and growth rate estimates were actually better than anticipated, indicating that the economy was stronger than anticipated, at least according to this metric. And the labor market is rather robust. All of this information essentially encourages the Fed to be more severe, and not necessarily more dovish, but I would say more stern at the February 1 FOMC meeting. And now there is much speculation about what Jerome Powell may say. What is he planning to do? It is highly probable that he will be hawkish. It remains quite probable. Moreover, 
I cannot offer any assurances. However, I would like to point out that the market's rising is itself an uptrend. Getting closer to these FOMP dates is not ideal. Therefore, right here, the market is also pricing in a 25 basis point hike, which is likely to be the hike. But we'll have to wait and see. Finally, we have the outputted PC data. This was actually lower than anticipated, but the month over month growth was slightly more than the prior month, right? It is crucial to highlight that. While we did meet estimates, Core PC grew by only 0.3% month over month compared to 0.2% the previous month. Therefore, the rate of growth for the core is slowing, although it is not fulfilling expectations entirely. So the Fed may yet pull the rug out from under spies markets. I wish to highlight something crucial. Herein is the issue. We are indeed pumping. People are becoming more bullish. Not only are divergences continuing, but bearish divergences are also continuing to occur. But what worries me is that so many investors are bullish at the moment. So many, so many people assume that the market will continue to expand indefinitely. What is the probability and assurance that the market will stop? What is the warranty? My belief is that a market reversal is somewhat more likely unless we break and hold for 10 bars. However, what I see is, Okay, if we take a 10 second pause and start to notice SBI has pushed up extremely hard. If that were actually possible, and she will have the ability to break back into the 60 and even surpass that mark. However, if the entire market begins to collapse, right? And I believe this is somewhat more likely if the market begins to decline, at least gradually. AIM still will gradually reach 5, then fall below it. In addition, there's a void here that may be addressed pretty quickly. I say this because a great number of market participants are not necessarily anticipating it. As I have stated, a significant number of individuals are extremely bullish. Therefore, you must be prepared for anything. And I would want to stress that if you observe AMC performing poorly, please explain why. Isn't there manipulation? Whether it's an early Fed pivot, which I don't really see, to be completely honest with you, or some other issue, we do have this gap down here. Watch out for the void on this page of SPY. There is a large gap. The market is booming, yet we might begin to pull back and fill these holes. If that occurs, it will be detrimental to AMC. The entire industry does this. My purpose is only to warn you and to demonstrate what the charts indicate. The formation of a bearish divergence indicates that it is still feasible for us to reverse the decline. If this occurs, it might be detrimental to AMC. I want everyone to be ready for that. You want Musk expresses the same sentiment over the entire market, including AMC. Consequently, my job is to keep you people prepared. With that said, I sincerely appreciate your attention. Have a wonderful remainder of the day, and I'll see you in the next one. Am AMC to the moon because the long-term future remains extremely promising. The squeeze potential remains, and goodbye.